Hey everybody, I'm here at the base of Bayo Mountain and we're talking the Ski Express for MS. And joining me now, we have Johnny Mosley, who has come back to town to help this event kick off. And Johnny, great to have you back. I know we lost a little time during COVID, yeah. but uh, it's great to bring everyone back together for this great event for Can Do MS. Absolutely, yeah. This is one of my favorite events of the year, Ski for MS here. Uh, we have a great turnout and I love going around and skiing around the mountain and carrying on the legacy that Jimmy Duke has started. Yeah, you know, many people don't realize Jimmy Huga, he and Billy Kidd won the silver and the bronze, respectively, in the 1964 Olympic Games in Innsbruck, yeah. and really put American ski racing on the map. Yeah, they did, and all of us skiers that went to the Olympics and got on the World Cup in all disciplines, even freestyle, benefited from what Jimmy did, and, and Billy, uh, just kind of, you know, being the first guys to get out there. And then Jimmy obviously carried on, came down with MS, faced huge adversity. And so I just have such admiration for the man to go on and kind of reinvent the care for MS. And so I'm so uh, a privileged and honored to carry on his legacy. Oh, yeah. And the money yeah. raised today, it's all going to go to the Can Do MS uh, Foundation. And they provide great programs for those living with MS and their families, really great support. And uh, But it's so fun to do a fun event like this and really use and utilize our backyard. And I guess we're going to be able to have some opportunities to get some bump tips from you today on yeah. the Bogles. Yeah, this year is a little bit different. You know, typically t Jimmy would race everyone because he yeah. was a racer. Um, but I'm a bumper, so uh, <laughs> this time around we're going to do a little bump clinic right after lunch, 145. We'll do the ski around, you know, in the morning. You can meet here at the tent. Uh, around 10 we'll take off. And uh, and then after lunch we'll, we'll ski some bumps. I'm even going to do a little ballet clinic, maybe oh. 15 minutes, <laughs> right before we do the sort of uh, traditional ski down. Yeah, for Jimmy. For Jimmy. Yeah. yeah, normally yeah. they kind of rename one of the runs right. for Jimmy Huga. I think his sons are going to be in attendance. Yep. So friends and family. Yeah. So it'll be great. No, it's a, it's a really exciting day. And we're, we're all kind of dressed in costumes, so you can't miss it. So I know. Tipsy Elves. Stay out of the way <laughs> or join us. Yeah. One of the two. Totally. And you're going to want to join them. For 50 bucks, you can get down here. Registration starts at 8.30, and then they will be leaving at about 10. And then afterwards, you've got the fun opera party here. Oh, yeah. The opera party goes off. We uh, It's a great opportunity to sort of get introduced to the crew. We have you know, so many families here that are supporting uh, either individuals with MS, and they come, and we all have a good time. We do a little auction. I've got my, uh, my co-host from the show I just hosted, the American Ninja uh, Warrior host, Matt Eisman coming. Oh, good. So he's always a good time. It gets loose, so you yeah. definitely want to come uh, hang out. Come and even if you aren't going to ski all day, just pay the registration fee for the opera party. It's going to be worth it. Hey, let's talk a little bit about the recent Olympics. Of course, you went to the 1998 Olympics and the 20, uh, 2002. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Salt Lake and Nagano. And then, of course, plenty of X Games. U.S. free skiing opens, all that, winning medals, yeah. and really setting the tone for America's uh, ski riders and skiers and everyone with some of your tricks. I'll, I'll take that, thank you. Yes, yes, but, <laughs> but you've been commentating ever since, yeah. and uh, what was it like? I mean, I know a lot of the um, commentators did not go on site. You were at the NBC studios in Connecticut. Yeah, it was a totally different Olympics than I'm used to. I spent the last, what, three Olympics as an analyst on site you know at the different olympics commentating um but this time around they didn't send anyone over there uh, just you know because of the circumstances so we all were in stanford connecticut um uh, going to the studios every day and uh, this time around i was actually hosting a live highlight show on peacock which was really fun uh but we were all in the, the, the funny part about it is we were all like in the hotel so you know ted Ligeti would be coming home from his shift commentating at 3 30 a.m and i'd be going out and so we'd hang in the lobby and I'd get the, get, get the download on what happened yeah. and get all this inside and then I'd go record it on TV and then we'd have these like evening watch parties and you'd have like Lindsey Vaughn and Seth Westcott and Todd Richards and uh, you know Brian Boitano all cheering on some of them. It, for not being there and not having like a real <laughs> Olympic experience, it was pretty cool. Totally, and you're almost jet lagged because you're working such odd hours, even though you're oh. in the states. You want to hear my schedule? It was like uh, go to work at at for a 5 a.m. meet. Wake up at 3:30. Get ready. Go for a 5 a.m. meeting. Get off at like you know one. Sleep till six. <laughs> wake up. Watch primetime coverage until like two in the morning. Sleep for an hour and a half and do it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm warped. Oh my gosh. Well, we appreciate all you guys. It's hard work. It was so fun to watch. I, I watched a lot of Peacock. And oh, cool. it was just, you know, we we're just trying to keep track of what day it was and, <laughs> and everything and watch the Americans and, and quite, you know, a little bit of drama. 
Of course. I, you know, it was it was a really um, uh, amazing. Olympics are always amazing. Yeah. I mean, anytime you're going to put somebody in that type of situation, it, it's it's really gnarly. You yeah. know, you feel for the athletes, but it's also what makes it so fascinating. You know, <laughs> you just can't take your eyes off it. And uh, you know, there were some just amazing stories that came out of there, and some some just amazing, um, you know, uh, like human studies on yes, you know how, yes. how how you deal with. With, Humanity 101. With building your whole life up into one moment and, and what we love about that and, and just the, the, the poor, good forces in the world. So. Oh, my God. Well, hey, you can hear more of these stories. If you <laughs> want to come on down today, uh, we are right here by Gondola One at the base, uh, Maine, Vail Mountain. So come on down and check out the Can Do MS, Ski for MS, the Vertical Challenge, Mogul Skiing with Johnny Mosley, Free Skiing, yeah. the After Party. Come on down. We're right here. Registration is going on right now. Thanks for your time today. We always Trisha, love you. Trisha, it's a great Vail. way. You're, you woke me up. So <laughs> okay, thank perfect. you. All right, perfect. Your spirit is awesome. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> And there you have it. Just really taking in a lot of events that are happening over at Vail and Beaver Creek today. And again, so you can carve out as many vertical feet as you can to raise critical funds for the MS community and families living with MS. And that's happening over at Vail today, Ski for MS event. We'll be right back.